Hello and welcome to this video where we look at how to create a clear all filters button in Power BI. This is a question that is coming up time and again in my training, so I thought it was time to produce this video. Now in this basic report on screen, I have multiple filters in action. I have a slicer filtering the visuals for food. I have a filters pane filtering all visuals on the page for the month name of February. And I have a cross filter coming from the region of West on my clustered bar chart. I would like a button to clear all filters on this page. Now you might be thinking, but Alan, isn't there a button in the Power BI service already? And yes, there kind of is. So I have this report open on the Power BI service at the moment. And looking up to the top right corner, there is a button that is currently not visible as I just position my mouse over it to tell me I'm looking at the author's default view of the report. So, and this is the reset filters button. So if I was to go and apply a filter for food, I see that button turn green and become active. And I can click that button to reset the filters. I'll get this message asking to reset to default, and I can click reset to remove those filters. But notice a couple of things about it. Notice that it did not clear the filter from the filters pane because the author, intentionally or unintentionally, has set a default filter on Feb. So it's not clearing the filter, it's just restoring it to its default, whether that be what the author intended or not. Now also, if I was to click on one of the bubbles in this map, such as the bubble for Belfast, that will perform a cross highlight on the clustered bar and notice that that button has not become active. It is not until I apply a filter, such as to beverages, that suddenly the button becomes active. And if I was to go and change some other filters for this demo, such as filtering for a different month of May, and then when I click on that reset filters button, it does clear everything, including that cross highlight. So it restores my month back to Feb, and it did reset the slicer filter and the cross highlight from the map. But it didn't come up initially when I performed the cross highlight. So there's a few things that may not be desired by that button, not appearing on the cross highlight, the fact that it resets to default, it doesn't actually clear them. And finally, that I, after pressing it, I have to confirm that that is what I want. So let's look at how we can create our own clear all filters button. Now we can insert buttons on a report by clicking the insert tab and clicking on buttons. And we can see some of the preset buttons available. Now, although I'm going to insert button here, please bear in mind that we can apply actions to shapes or images that we may have inserted as well. It does not need to actually be a button to become something that we can click to perform an action. Now, one of the buttons that has come out over recent months in Power BI is a button to clear all slices. If I was to click on clear all slices, I'd get a button and this button will clear those slices. I can apply some lovely formatting to that button. So here we are. And that button will do exactly what it says on the tin. So if I apply a filter on my slicer, such as for cake, and then maybe I'll click on one of the columns, sorry, bars in my clustered bar, such as south, then if I go and click on that button to clear all slices, and I'm in Power BI desktop at the moment, so I'll do control click, then yes, it does clear the slicer, but he has not cleared other filters, such as the cross filter from the clustered bar, 
and also the month name filter applied in the filters pane. So definitely worth knowing that that exists, hence why I'm mentioning it in this video, because you may just be interested in clearing only the slicers. But our goal is to clear all filters with a button. So let me come and remove these filters. I'll remove the cross filter, and I'm going to remove the filter for the month name. We come over and clear that one. So now I have no filters applied. And we are going to create a bookmark to save the current state of this page, i.e. it has no filters applied. And then assign that to a button. And when we or the consumers of our report then start applying filters, we will have a button to simply clear all the filters. So the answer is bookmarks. And although we're creating a bookmark to clear all filters, please bear in mind that this is uber flexible and we could create a bookmark to clear all filters except one or to clear only filters from the filters pane or indeed a lot more than that. So let's go and add to that bookmark. I'll click on the view tab and bookmarks to open the bookmarks pane. Over in the pane, I'll click on add to add a bookmark and I'll just go and rename that bookmark. I'll rename it to clear all filters, clear all filters. And this is saving the current state of this report page, i.e. one with no filters applied. Now I'd like to create a button for this. So if I now pop over to insert and I will insert a button and I'll insert a blank button. Let me just position this next to my clear all slices one. So I could have one for each. And over in the format pane, I will quickly apply some basic formatting to it. So I'll open up the style and I'll just quickly add a fill color, maybe a yellow color for now, and quickly add some text to it. Clear or filters and that will do we can obviously format it to look a lot better than that but the key moment is that in this action area i'm going to turn on and expand it set the type for bookmark and specify the bookmark as the clear all filters bookmark now if i apply some filters such as to food I'll perform a cross filter from Northeast and I'll go into the filters pane and I'll set a filter for a month, such as the month of June. And if I now go and click on my clear all filters button, all filters have been removed. They are all set to all, both the cross filter, the slicer and the filters pane. Here I am in the Power BI service with that same report and applying these filters, these cross highlights and filter pane filters. And again, clicking that button will clear all filters. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that like button because it does really help. And subscribe so that you are notified about the latest Excel and Power BI videos at this channel. Take care and I'll see you again soon.